Hi everyone, how are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert and today you find me in the car. I'm going on another adventure and Joshua, my son, is right here beside me. Hi. This thing here, excuse this, it seems to keep getting in the way. <laughs> oh well, boing. <laughs> yes, it smells pretty nice actually. Yes, Joshua coconut. and I, pardon? It's coconut. Is it coconut? Oh yeah, it's a nice coconut smell. Joshua and I are on another adventure. We have a few places to go. We have some groceries to buy and Gerald's birthday is coming up on September 25th. So Joshua wants to buy some nice birthday presents and things for his dad's birthday. So where would you like to go to today, Josh? Dollarama. You want to go to Dollarama? Yep. Okay. And if there's anywhere else you want to go, let me know, okay? All right. Yes, so that's our destination, my friends, and you're all welcome to come along. It'll be great to have your company, that's for sure. So Joshua and I just came back from the post office and see that building right there in the back in my through my window well that's the post office right there and yes I got some mail from my P.O. box thank you very much my viewers I love getting mail it makes my day <laughs> definitely it makes my day and so now that Joshua and I are all done our grocery shopping and Joshua picked up what he wanted for his dad's birthday presents. So I think that we're going to treat ourselves and our special pal, our secret pal, mystery viewer, had given us a Dairy Queen gift card. So I think Joshua and I are going to head over to Dairy Queen and pick up a nice treat and then go home. Joshua, what do you think that you would like to have? A milkshake. You want a milkshake? What kind of milkshake? Vanilla. Vanilla milkshake. You guys, what should I get? Do you know? I'm trying to think what I should get. It's a choice between strawberry and chocolate. Well, I'll find out once I get there. <laughs> anyway, my friends, thank you, my secret pal, for sending us this beautiful and wonderful gift card. We're going to make use of some of it right now. <laughs> So, we're on our way. We're heading out on the road again. So, Joshua and I have our milkshakes. Joshua picked up a vanilla milkshake. And it looks really good. And I have a strawberry milkshake. So, thank you again, Secret Pal. This is a really nice treat. 
and we sure appreciate the gift card. So we're going to take a few sips of our milkshakes and head on home because it's just about lunchtime. Is it good, Josh? Yep. Oh, that's good. Mine's good, too. Well, we're back at home and Joshua has had his lunch and he's now resting actually. So that means I can show you my haul now. And I have picked up quite a lot of really nice treasures that I'm excited to show you. One of the first places that Joshua and I went to, and that is Dollarama. He wanted to pick up some things for his dad because Gerald's birthday is coming up on September 25th. That's just around the corner. So Josh wanted to make sure that he had everything that he needed for Gerald's birthday. And he picked up some really nice gifts too. <laughs> and while I was at Dollarama with Joshua, I picked up a few things myself actually. And thank you to Secret Pal, mystery viewer, who had given us a Dollarama gift card. I used that today. So thank you very much, Secret Pal. I was able to use the gift card that you gave me. And so now I can show you and everyone else what I picked up at Dollarama. I'm working on some of my recipes, going through my recipe books, and in order to do my recipe project, I picked up some brand new little binders. I picked up four. I picked up a red one, I picked up a white one, a beautiful blue one, very nice, and of course, of course, black because black goes with anything <laughs> also too i discovered these this is just one of them these are very nice for fall and halloween and i'm gonna see if i can get these going for you they're supposed to light up i got them working here's the pumpkin isn't he cute he's got a little toothy smile there but he's got lots of different colors and that'll look really nice in the evening as it gets darker and darker. It's got this cute little handle. So I'll put him down here and I'll show you my skeleton or my skull. This one really lights up, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I love them both. They're wonderful. It's going to look amazing at night. Also at Dollarama, I picked up some hand soap here. And this always lasts a long, long time. So it's very handy to have and it doesn't cost very much. Now Josh can't use this kind of hand soap. This is more like for Gerald and I and anybody else who might come and visit us. I actually picked this up for Joshua because he has sensitive skin. And I picked this up at Sobeys is where I got this ivory soap. This is the kind that Josh needs. So I picked up some for Joshua and I picked up some for Gerald and I and everybody else too. Also at Dollarama, Joshua spotted these and I knew I wanted to pick up some candles for Gerald's birthday cake. And Joshua saw these and he wanted me to pick these up and I saw these and I wanted to pick these up. So we got both of them. So yes, this is going to be really nice for Gerald's birthday cake. I also picked up a nice treat for Gerald, uh, for Joshua. Some of these nice Ringolos barbecue treats. Yes, he likes these ones. Humpty Dumpty. It's a very good treat for Josh, and this is what he had wanted. And they didn't cost very much. Didn't cost very much at all. So that's what I picked up at Dollarama. Now I'll show you what kind of groceries I picked up. I went to a couple grocery stores, so I'll show you what I picked up. Halloween is coming. It's on its way. So I thought that 40 bags of these ruff, ruffle chips would be nice. And it's a good start. A very good start. And as we continue to get to October 31st, I'll pick up a few more things as well. But this gets the ball rolling anyway. Over here I picked up some eggs. Two dozen eggs. Some milk. Some orange juice. And tonight, Stacy is coming over. We're actually going to have a family movie night. We're going to watch Tom Hanks' new movie called Pinocchio. So that should be really nice. And we're going to have tacos. Tacos for supper tonight. And I have the cheese. Well, I don't need two for uh, tacos. But these were um, 
how much were these? Two for ten dollars, so they were five dollars each. So I'll be grading up one of these for the tacos. I have romaine lettuce to go with the tacos, sour cream. I'm only going to need about one of those avocados. And I picked up some hamburger for the tacos. And I'm only going to need two of these because I want leftovers, so I'm going to use two of those to cook, to cook up. And this here, this will just go in the freezer. But these packages average to about $7 per package. And around here, that's actually a very reasonable price. And I don't see them that price very often. So I got four. Yes, I did. So we're all set as far as tacos go. And there's some Sprite and Mountain Dew. And uh, we're going to have one of those tonight. Those were two for three dollars. So instead of just buying one, I thought I'll just pick up two. Gerald and I need our coffee in the mornings. So this is the one we picked up. And I picked up these cute little Halloween napkins too. Each of these was on for a very, very reasonable price. So when I see them for that price, I don't let that sale get by me. I always pick up a couple packages of pasta. And I have Joshua's yogurt. Joshua has yogurt in the mornings at breakfast time. And he also has this carnation breakfast. That's what he's been liking to have lately. So that's what we've been picking up for him. I also have this Classico Alfredo. This one's Alfredo and roasted garlic. And this one, this one is just Alfredo. So I'm going to be using that for supper, of course. And this is Viter. This is non-alcoholic. And we picked this up at Sobeys. This here I picked up at Superstore for 99 cents per bottle. It was on sale for a very, very good price. In our house, we drink a lot of water. And Gerald takes a lot of water to work with him to stay hydrated. It gets pretty warm in there sometimes. So I have two more cases set aside for when we need it. Today, I would like to talk to you about a couple of things, actually. And the first one is going to be an update. And the second one is going to be mail call. So how about we start with the update? I do have a couple things to share with you. Now, some of you already know that I'm going to be having a draw. I'm going to be having a contest on this wonderful, locally made Michelle the Introvert mug. And there's a lot of beautiful pictures on the back from previous thumbnails, from previous videos that I've made. A lot, a lot of pictures there. Yes, so I'm going to be having a contest coming up. And um, it's going to be a draw on this mug, but not just on the mug. There is actually a magnet inside too. And the magnet will come with the mug. And if you're interested in joining the contest or being a part of the contest, in my very next Michelle's Moments, I'm going to have all of the details. So if you're interested in being part of this contest, stay tuned for my next Michelle's Moments because I'll have all the, the um, information on that. And the next update I'd like to give you, and that is um, in my last video, I talked about going to the Shabob Town Point Cemetery Yard Sale and Bake Sale. And one of the items that I picked up there was this beautiful Christmas towel. Now at the time when I was at the yard sale, I saw one of the sides and it was nice and clean and beautiful. But when I got the towel home, I realized only then that the other side of the towel was covered in dust and dirt and I wasn't sure if it was going to come out clean in the wash or not. I definitely had my fingers crossed hoping that it would come clean because it's such a beautiful Christmas towel. Well guess what my friends? I put this in the washing machine and the dryer and it came out beautiful. Nice and clean, spick and span. So I was very happy about that. And I will show you what it looks like <laughs> now that it's all nice and clean. 
See how the corners are all nice and white? They're not all full of dust. No, sir. They came out really, really nice and tidy. Nice and spick and span. I'll give you a close up on the picture here for both sides. It's such a cute little towel <laughs> and I'm looking forward to using it come this Christmas season. <laughs> I'm going to disappear here for just a second so you can see the picture. Isn't that cute? There's little Frosty the snowman in the front there. See if I can peek over a little. <laughs> yes, it came nice and clean. I'm happy to say. So I can put this away and then when it's Christmas time, I'll bring it right back out again. So that'll be fun for the Christmas season. The next thing that I'd like to talk to you today about is mail call. Joshua and I went to our P.O. box and what did we find? We found some mail. So we're always very excited when there's mail in our P.O. box. So here it is. Da -da -da -da! I have one here, one envelope. And I have two, two envelopes, my friends, to share with you all today. I'm just going to put my glasses on here and we'll start with the first one. This one here. Now I've already opened this lovely envelope up and it is from a special viewer, Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. <laughs> I've read the letter that you sent to me and it's a wonderful, wonderful letter. And here it is right here. It's a very nice letter. Thank you, Alexander, for this wonderful letter. And she sent me this beautiful card. And Alexandra, actually, she made this card and she made this picture. Isn't it beautiful? Very, very beautiful. And inside, she has a little note. Just watched your zucchini loaf recipe. Looks yummy. Must try it. <laughs> Happy thoughts for you and yours and sunshine for the days ahead. And there's a little sunshine, a little sun with a smiley face and Alexandra's name at the bottom. So thank you, Alexandra, very, very much for the, the letter. I love receiving letters. I love receiving mail in my P.O. box and this beautiful, beautiful card that you made. Thank you very, very much for this beautiful card. Very thoughtful indeed. And now we'll go to our next one, my friends. Just going to open this up here. And this is from Bernice. Hi, Bernice. <laughs> very nice of you to send me something in the mail. I'm very excited. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Wow. Look at this card. Beautiful. Beautiful lighthouse there. Very, very nice. Oops. There's something here. Oh, there's a recipe. <laughs> there's a recipe in here for zucchini soup. That's great. Oh my goodness. This is exciting. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love receiving recipes. That's great. Oh, this looks great. And I have a lot of zucchini, so I'll be able to try this, this recipe out. How exciting. <laughs> it doesn't look hard either. Thank you, Bernice. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness. That's great. <laughs> okay, let's take a look inside this card. I'll show you the front again. It's beautiful. Very nice. There's a little message in here. Bernice has in here some instructions on how to make the zucchini soup and some little tips and pointers. Thank you, this is fantastic. And yes, I can put some of the zucchini in a Tupperware container. I definitely will. You know me well. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the soup from Bernice. Oh, thank you, Bernice. This is so nice of you. I'm just very excited that you sent me this recipe. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> There's some information on the back too on how to make it. That's great. Thank you very, very much, Bernice. This is excellent. <laughs> This is so much fun. <laughs> I like getting together with you all. Yes, I do. I'm just going to move these a little closer. And here is my pot of tea. And here is my wonderful cup of tea. So let's see if I can show you without spilling it. 
And here's to you all, my little rays of sunshine. There's my Paddington Bear. He's very special to me. I love Paddington Bear. And I picked up some marmalade today for a very special reason. Paddington Bear loves marmalade sandwiches. And so do I. In fact, mine's in here. Rest in peace, sweet Queen Elizabeth. And my prayers are with your family during this difficult time. Thank you.